Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the match keyword. Using this keyword, you can add the additional validation as well as assertion in your scenario. So there are three ways in which you can use the match keyword. You can use the match keyword to validate the entire response, or you can use the negate condition, or you can also use the match keyword to look for the specific property in the response. So let me show you how it is done. So let me just run our runner to get the response. So in the first scenario, we are getting the response in the JSON format and assume that I want to validate that response. So I will use the end condition and then use the match keyword response variable equal to open and close quotes and specify my response between them. Similarly for this scenario where I'm receiving the response in the XML format. So after this statement, I will use the AND keyword and match response equal to open close quotes and place the response between them. Using this statement, I am validating that the response of this request should be this entire JSON body. So let me go ahead and run the runner. Now in order to make sure that this matcher is working properly, let me change the job ID. Now in this case, our test script should fail because there is a difference in the actual and the expected response body. So you can see here the tests are failing and if you look at the failure cause, it clearly says that actual is 1 and expected is 11. Similarly, in this case also, actual is 1, expected is 11. So this is the first way of using the match keyword for matching the response content. So let me create the duplicate copy of this scenario. So in this scenario, I'm going to discuss about the second approach of using the match keyword that is using the negate operator. So in this case, I'm looking for the response which is not equal to this. And obviously that scenario will fail. Okay. Now the third way of using the match keyword is when you are looking for a specific content in the response. So maybe I could put a validation on project name or maybe I could put a validation on job ID. So let me again create a copy of this scenario. And let me update the scenario title also. Now before we start with the validation, let us understand the response. So if you observe the response closely, you can see here this is a JSON array which contains the JSON object. So this is our object. Inside this JSON object, we have some properties and nested JSON object as well as JSON array. And this is nested JSON array. Inside this JSON array, we have one more object along with the JSON array and the property. So as you can see in the response, some of the properties are present deep down in the nested JSON object. In such cases, we need to use one more keyword along with the match keyword. So in this scenario, I'm going to update our validation. So I will use and match response contains deep and then specify the property name and its value. So in this statement, we use the keyword that is contains and deep. Contains keyword is self-explanatory. So deep keyword is used whenever you want to validate a property which is present under nested JSON object or in a JSON array. And let me run this. 
okay so our test is passing now if you look at the property that is project name this property is present inside the nested json array and inside a nested json object so if i want to write a matcher which is going to validate the presence of this property i need to write in this manner and match response contains deep we have json array so first i will use that open and close square bracket and inside that i will specify the property name and its value and let me run this so our test is passing let me just change the value of the property to make sure that the matcher is working correctly and our scenario got failed and the exception clearly says that actual value does not contain the expected value now let me remove this deep keyword So in this case also our scenario will fail because it will not able to identify the property as it is present inside the nested json array and that too under the nested json object so i have to use the deep keyword here now in this similar manner you can also validate the response header so if you look at the response we are getting some header along with the response i can do the validation on the response headers also so here i will use and keyword match header and you can specify the value of the header so content type should be equal to application slash json and match header connection equal to keep alive and let me run the script so now our scenario is passing so in this manner you can use the match keyword to perform the validation as well as assertion on the response header as well as response body